everyone, it's Miss Shelby again. Welcome to week number two of our gymnastics videos. Uh, we're going to start off with Monday. It is day five of our gymnastics series and we're gonna do bars and back. I have my helper here, Felicity. She's gonna be doing some gymnastics with us. She's gonna be running around having some fun with us. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our warm up. This is going to be called a step, hop, half turn. Now, it may sound a little difficult, but it's actually really easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first start with our arms up, we're gonna do a step, and then we're gonna hop. As we hop, we're gonna turn. Step, hop. Step, hop. See, I'll do it from the side so you can see it two ways. Start with your cartwheel foot. Step, hop. Step, hop. Good, can you do that 10 times? Step, hop. Step, hop. I'm gonna let you finish that up. Do that 10 times for me, do your step hops. If those are a little too easy, do your opposite leg. Next, we're gonna learn our new position for today. We're gonna be doing some levers. We did it last week. Let's see who remembers their lever. I bet Felicity does. She knows how to do a lever. Can you come do your lever with me? We're gonna put that cartwheel leg up, arms up, up, up. Remember, do not bend the pole going from your hands all the way down to your foot. We're gonna to touch the ground. Go straight, 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 lever and come back up at the same time. You wanna make sure your body does not bend. Your feet and hands go at the same time. Good job. Felicity's doing a lever? Nope, she's gonna run around. That's okay too. One more lever, friends. Lever. Oh, I got a monkey on me. <laughs> Good job. So that's our re uh, review for last week, and now we're gonna learn our new position Many of you know it. Hop off little monkey, we're gonna do our new uh, position. And it's gonna be a candlestick. Now last week, we did some candlesticks for our fun activity, but remember, Miss Shelby, uh, I actually upgraded and got me a mat, but if you don't have a mat, it is fine to do this on some pillows, or it's so nice outside, do it outside. Go outside and do your gymnastics today. So. The first thing we're going to do is our candlestick. Come on, do a candlestick with me. I don't want to. Well, then scooch out of the way. Come on. Thank you. All right. Miss Shelby's going to do her candlestick. Remember, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Try to get up on those shoulders and push your toes up to the sky. Ready? We're going to do that candlestick. And stand up. Whoop! I had a monkey under me. Watch out, little monkey. And do that candlestick. Up, up, up. And come down and stand up nice and tall. Good job, friends. I want you to do 10 candlesticks. I love candlesticks, they're so much fun. You can put your hands up or out behind you. I prefer up above your head because then that'll prepare you for back extension rolls when you have to keep your hands here. So it's, I prefer to put my hands above my head. The next thing we're gonna work on today is we're gonna get our bars out. Now remember, we all don't have bars at home, so we're gonna use some chairs. Michelle's gonna move my mat up, and then we're gonna put the chairs out. Excuse me, little monkey. Excuse me. Help me push. Can you help me push it up? Thank you, good job. All right, Michelle's gonna get her chairs. Remember, have mommy or daddy help you with getting chairs, or you can use two couches or be creative. You can use whatever you've got at home, make it work. We're going to be doing those dips again today. Ready? So let's get our arms up. Let's do a tuck position. Whoop, got to spread it out just a little bit. We're going to dip. Let's do it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. I want you to do five more. Can you do five more dips? Pause the video if you need to. Good job, friends. So while we've got our dips done, we are going to do... Oh, this is a new thing I found. We're going to keep these chairs, but we're going to scoot them back. We're going to practice these for our cast. Now remember, a cast, when we're on the bar, is when we kick our feet together behind us and stay in a nice straight position that's going to help us on our cast back hip circles and doing all kinds of bar stuff 
when we're bigger. So this is going to be a new bars conditioning I found on Pinterest. You put your hands down on the ground, you put your feet up on the chairs. Um, and then what you do is you pop your feet down and up, down and up. So I'm going to show you real quick, hands down, make a plank position, and down and up, and down and up. I'll turn sideways so you can see what it looks like from the side. Here we go. Put your feet up on the, make a nice plank with your body. Down and up. Good job. Down and up. Down and up. Good job. I want you to be sure to try to do 20 of those. If it's a little tall for you, find something that fits more your height. And Shelby's probably taller than most of you. So be sure to find something that fits for you. Next we're going to do is we are ready to do our back things. Now I'm going to have my friend over here come and help me, my little assistant. And then we're going to do our back bend stand-ups. Remember, when we start on our backs, we always want to warm up. All right, so first we want to warm up. If you are under the age of five, please make sure to be doing those tables. If you are over five, do your back bends with me. Be sure to do three. Felicity's going to come and do her table. Do a table with me. Can you show me your table? I'm going to show our friends our table. Push your tummy up, 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 up to the sky. And you want to hold that for at least 10 seconds if you're under five. If you're older than five, you can lay down. Push up into that bridge position. Good. And hold it for 10 seconds. Remember to rock and roll. Very good. So once you've done three, I'll let you pause the video. Do your three. Count to 10. Don't forget to rock and roll. All right, so now that you've done your three back bends or your bridges or tables, we're gonna work on that bridge up kick over. Felicity is going to come and show you. Remember, I'm gonna pretend that this is a couch. You can use a chair, but I would highly recommend putting it next to a wall if you were going to try to do this with a chair. But since Felicity's so small, I can uh, handle her. Uh, lifting her up. Come here, Felicity. I want to show our friends how we do a bridge up kickover. We don't want to. Come here, honey bud. Sometimes they're a little reluctant when they're at the preschool age, but I know you're big kids, so um, be sure to push up nice and strong. You're going to lay down. You can use this on any couch or cushion. You're going to reach for the ground, push up with your arms, and then you're going to push one leg up to the sky, kick with that cartwheel leg up, and stand up nice and tall. Show me your ta-da. There we go. You can be done. Good job. Thank you. All right, so be sure to push up with your feet. I had to kind of lift Felicity over, but um, you want to try to push up strong and keep your arms strong while you're doing that bridge up kickover. The next thing we're going to try to do is our handstand, or handstand snap down rebounds. Those are going to help in our back handspring later when we are ready to connect these. So when you're doing that handstand snap down rebound, be sure to cartwheel leg out. You're going to hit that nice tall handstand squeezing. And then you're going to snap those feet down and jump up to the sky. Ready? Handstand. Snap down, rebound. Oh, that's a big rebound. Good job. Let's do it again. Ready? Handstand. Snap down. Rebound. Good. I almost touched the ceiling. That was a good tall rebound. I want you to try to do 10 of those handstand snap down rebounds. And the last thing we're going to do is we are going to do dips. Now, these are different than our dips on the bar. We are going to do dips with the chair. Now, you can use a couch or a bed or whatever's good for your height. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it against a wall. I'm going to put my hands behind me and my legs out in front of me. The farther out you go, the more it'll work on those arm and back muscles. Good. They're like backwards push-ups. 
So try to do 10 of those friends, pushing our belly up, 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 keeping our leg, arms nice and tall, up, up, up. Good job, friends. Go ahead and finish those calls if you need to. Very good. So, next friends, we're gonna do that basic five. Today, um, the only thing different will be the handstand and I will mention that when we get to it. Of course, we're gonna start with that front roll. We'll do the basic ones today because on floor day, we're gonna really work on them uh, individually. So I really want everyone to have a perfect forward roll. Feet and knees together, look at that belly, keep your arms up to the sky. Do not use those hands to stand up, push. And stand up tall, good job. The back roll, um, I will get Felicity in just a second to do the back roll. And then I'll go ahead and move on to the headstand. If you are a little more advanced for your handstand or your headstand, use a couch because there's not anything for your feet to hit on. It's just your back being supported. So that way your hand or your feet can learn the balance. My friend Felicity here is going to come with me and do a nice back roll so she can go play outside real quick. She's being such a good helper. Come on, honey bun. She's distracted by the yellow tablecloth. She wants to play with them. Come here, honey bun. While we're waiting for Felicity, remember on that headstand, we, uh, or the couch, your feet uh, will wobble, but that's the point. We're going to squeeze our feet and get nice and tight. Thank you, Felicity. She goes in on this way. So on that back roll, whoops, stand up real quick. Uh, get your hands ready to pancake. You wanna go fast, don't flop down, but you wanna use that momentum. So we're gonna sit down and go quick, 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 feet to the sky. And stand on your feet though. Stand up tall. Remember, land on those feet. Arms up nice and tall. Ta-da. That's very good. Good job, honey bun. Um, like I said for those headstands, so remember trying to squeeze our body nice and tall. Up, 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 up to the sky, squeezing. And you can do straddle if you want. Go into splits. And then come down. If you're really advanced, try to do press headstand. We'll get to that a little later. And now we're going to do our handstand. And today on the handstand, we're going to try to turn our hand. This is going to get us ready for a handstand pirouette. That means doing a handstand and turning in a circle with our arms. Ah, that sounds so scary. But guess what, guys? It is not um, because we are going to be practicing. So the first thing I want you to do is when you do that handstand, go up against that wall. Part the leg out, TNT out, kick up nice and tall to the wall and try to turn that hand and turn it back and turn that hand and turn it back. Good job, friends, and T out, arms up, 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 squeeze. Now, if you feel confident after doing it on the wall, move to the floor and do your hand to turn by the floor uh, without any support. Only do that if you, your mommy and daddy, see you're very strong in your handstand. Some of my level ones might can. Level twos and up, of course, you know what to do. Um, and last, we're going to be working on that cartwheel. We're going to be working on different kinds of cartwheels this week. But first, let's just practice that basic cartwheel. Cartwheel leg out. Arms up, up, up to the sky. Squeezing. Pointy toes. Stick that landing. Whoop. Stick that landing. So we're ready to pivot turn and do that next cartwheel. I want you to do 10 cartwheels. You've probably been doing them all day long anyway, but go ahead and do those cartwheels. I want to get my supply here. Very good. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do our cool down. After you've gotten all work, worked up, we're gonna go on a butterfly and we're gonna make a pizza. So let's do our butterfly. And try to pull your heels in as close as you can. Wiggle your wings down, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Try to press them flat. Good job, hold it for just a second, friends. Excellent, you can do this while you're watching TV at home because uh, butterfly is so good for stretching our thigh muscles and our leg muscles and getting nice and stretchy. Now we're gonna smell our stinky toes. Who can smell their stinky toes? Let's count to 10, but backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ding! We're here at the pizza shop. Let's go in the pike and let's make a pizza. What are you going to put on your pizza? I'm going to put, roll out my dough. Let's roll it out all the way down to our toes. Good job. Now put some sauce on. Spread that sauce out. Good job. What are you going to put on your pizza? Tell me real loud so I can hear you. Oh! 
mushrooms, and pineapple and green olives. You ready with your ingredients? Put them on. Do, 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 do. Now it's time to bake our pizza. Bake it in the oven. We're going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Ding! Now slice it. Chip. Now go back into flex. And let's eat this side of our pizza. Ready? Nom, 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 All the way to your toes. And the other side. Nom, 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 All the way to those toes. Good job. Oh, let's get our drink. What kind of drink did you want? Tell me. Real loud. I like that too. But you know what? I'm going to drink some milk. Milk is so good. I'm going to drink some milk. Grab it, grab it. Don't let your knees turn in. Keep them up, up, up. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Drink. Nom, 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 nom. So good. Well, friends, let's get back on that butterfly and let's go back to your house or wherever you might be today doing your gymnastics. And let's do our last activity for today. Today we're going to be doing some really fun things. Uh, Miss Shelby forgot to mention at the beginning of our video what supplies you needed. And my friend has ran off with one of my supplies. I need a balloon but I don't seem to see it. My little friend took it somewhere, so I'm gonna let her find it. Where's the balloon? Can you get it for mama? Go get the balloon. Thank you. While she's getting the balloon, I just wanna stress how much we do miss you guys. I hope that you are having a good time. I know it's kind of spring break time right now, so thank you so much. Do you wanna play a game with me? No, okay, you don't have to. Um, so we will hope to see you very, very soon, and we miss you all so very much. So right now, we are going to do something called a press relay. Now, I don't have a friend, but if you do have a friend at home, oh, my friend came back. What you're going to do is you're going to push your balloon in between your bellies, and you're going to try to walk to the other side of the room. And now try to walk the other way. Good job. Try to walk towards one of your partners. Oh, don't let the balloon drop. Now go the other way. Whoa, Nelly. Oh no, we let the balloon drop. So make up different rules. Go ahead and play with a friend. If you do not have a friend, try to do it in between your knees where you waddle like a penguin. Miss Shelley's balloon's kind of small. I only have this tiny balloon, so try to make a big, big balloon. Or you can use a ball if you do not have balloons at home. The next thing we're gonna do is a balloon toss for our fun activity. Felicity, come here, do you wanna play toss with mama? No? Well, if you don't have a friend to play with, that's okay. We're gonna just toss it in the air and try to catch it. We're gonna try to spin around and catch it. We're gonna try to do one hand and catch it. Oh, I have a friend now. And we're gonna try to catch it, catch it. Oh, good try. And it's okay if you drop it. This is gonna help coordinate um, and it's going to help cooperate you and your friends. Oh, that's a balloon. Come and catch it. <laughs> so try different ways. If you want to do one handed to the other hand, you want to go side to side. If you want to go backwards and try to catch it, that's also a fun way to play. Guys, I hope you have a lovely day. Tune in tomorrow for our next activities. And we love you so very much. We'll see you real soon. Bye.